So far in our map patrol build, we've seen the Land Cruiser get toughed up at Cooper Tyres and ARB. And we've had a custom new canopy built, which will carry and organise our field team's expedition gear. The next stage is happening at Globalsat, who will install the Land Cruiser's mapping and communications equipment. But more importantly, we'll devise a power management system to keep everything running. This is the most crucial stage of the build, because without reliable comms and high capacity auxiliary power in both the canopy and the cab, the LC79 can't capture mapping data or be self-sufficient in remote areas. This means that Globalsat is responsible for making the Land Cruiser a true map patrol vehicle. With so much gear to equip and power, we got together with some experts from Globalsat, Red Arc and Revolution Power to plan the best fit out possible. HEMA demands reliability from their vehicles, from all the products that go into them. In the harsh conditions that their vehicles go through out in the bush, they need something that's going to keep on powering the equipment that they're running whilst they're out there. Red Arc Electronics are perfect for that because they're designed and built here in Australia and manufactured to suit the harsh conditions. If you don't have a reliable dual battery system, you could be stranded in the bush with no power. Two lithium ion batteries from Revolution will deliver a 300 amp hour power bank for Red Arc's system to draw from, which is engineered to perform with lithium's unique charging profile. There's a range of performance advantages with lithium ion phosphate batteries, which is the type of batteries that we're uh, using in the HEMA map patrol. Lithium ion phosphate batteries are a lot lighter and provide a lot more power for the same space as what traditional lead acid type batteries do, such as AGMs and flooded cell batteries. The power management system will distribute power to the fridge and lighting system, to data capture and communications equipment in the cab, and to charge cameras, laptops and other devices in the Land Cruiser dual cab. This means the biggest job is reserved for Globalsat, who are tasked with implementing the entire system. Because of our high level of experience uh, in setting up vehicles such as the Map Patrol, uh, we're responsible for the specifications of this build. One of the key aspects to this build uh, is the planning stage and we've sat down with HEMA Maps uh, along with Revolution and Red Arc to come up with uh, some total load specifications. Uh, from there the system is spec'd accordingly uh, which uh, at the end of the day makes it uh, completely fit for purpose uh, and efficient in the field. After formulating a comprehensive build plan, Globalsat got to work on the Land Cruiser's most important transformation. Before finishing off the system and testing it out, we met up with Stuart to go through the back end of the system. So I'm back down here at Globalsat with Leroy and the team, and you can see that the build is really coming along. Most of the major components are on board, they're just doing some tidying and a final running of the wires and finishing the connections. We've got the battery management system fitted up here, and that's going to take care of the charging from the 240 volt, so generator backup. It's going to take care of charging from the vehicle while they're motoring along and also from solar panels while they're stopped. We've also got the 1000 watt inverter that's going to keep all of the 240 volt equipment powered while they're actually camped. On the far side we've got the Red Arc SBI 12 smart battery isolator and what that is doing is controlling charge that will also go down to the Patriot camper trail that this vehicle will be towing at times. So in the back of the dual cab here, we've got a distribution point for all of the loads within the cab of the vehicle. We've got main power coming in from the lithium battery bank in the back, um, which is then distributed to all of the individual circuits, which are all carrying their load through a relay bank. Soon the work was complete, and after taking the Land Cruiser to be sign written, Leroy gave us the complete tour of the finished product. Okay, so the build uh, on the map patrol is now complete. 
We've taken a lot of time to make this very complex electrical system into something that's, that's quite simple um, and, and functional. So the heart of the complex uh, electrical system uh, is hidden behind our custom uh, design and fabricated panel. Basically everything streams uh, from this panel here, so we've got our main isolator uh, which is the main feed from the lithium batteries um, up into the uh, charging and distribution circuitry. We've got our, our charging station here. The charging station includes dedicated AC and DC outlets for quick access to power as well as a hard drive for storing expedition data and a pair of mounted camera chargers. Here on the kitchen side of the map patrol uh, we've spent a lot of time uh, with the layout here. Uh, this is the high traffic area of the vehicle. We've got our main screen here for our Red Arc Manager 30. Uh, all of our switches have be, been positioned so that they're uh, nice and accessible. We've got uh, dimmers for our lighting and then the upright angle fridge. GlobalSat's attention to detail is evident throughout the entire build, but nowhere more so than in the cabin. Monitoring gauges, a raft of switches and all electronic hardware has been organised to simplify what is an incredibly complex and high powered system. As you can see there's uh, a lot going on in this, in this cabin. And there's a lot of uh, circuitry and, and whatnot that's hidden away. One of the most important uh, pieces of equipment in the map patrol um, is the tough pad um, which sits in this docking station. It talks to our differential GPS located in the roof console here uh, and we've also got a uh, external hard drive in the glove box um, for all the data capture and data storage. There's uh, an incredibly large amount of equipment in this custom uh, made roof console. We've got uh, USB sockets uh, left, right and centre. Uh, we've got a switch panel front and rear, uh, some LED map lights, uh, we've got the differential GPS here uh, and the GME UHF radio here. Uh, as well as uh, some LED lights um, here and here. Leroy and the team also installed a sat phone and a smartphone dock, both of which are connected to individual roof antennae to boost their signal in remote areas. Thanks to GlobalSat, our Land Cruiser 79 dual cab is now an expedition ready map patrol, capable of mapping Australia's most remote roads and tracks. And while the build may be complete, our new map patrol's job has only just begun. So stay tuned and subscribe to our channel to follow the map patrol as it explores Australia off the beaten track.